Welcome back to part 44 of Final Fantasy 13. Oh, you're wearing a skirt, kiddo. You gotta, you gotta pick it up. Um, <laughs> the last episode we failed spectacularly at Sidorain's. This episode I'm gonna compare everything in this game to Final Fantasy 7 Remake, like the Switch. That Switch would have been interactive in Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I would have had to hold the square button. Ah, crap. Let's try this. Uh, if I die, I'll just cut all these out, but whatever. I mean, this wouldn't be a good elevator sequence if there weren't random battles. Alright, just take them, just take them, just take them, just take them. As long as you get one down. Alright, we're good, 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 we're good. This is why I love aggression, because Fane just goes Rambo on one, I go Rambo on the other. It's all good. Um, but yeah, no, I, I am absolutely loving Final Fantasy or Final Fantasy 7. That game, I'm up to chapter 11. I think towards the end of chapter 11 is the train graveyard. Today I got through Wall Market and train graveyard. Oh my god. It's just everything about that game, it flows so well. Here's the thing. I said like a couple episodes ago, it is just as lit. Wait, why is the camera like that? I didn't think the camera was always like that. That's cool. That's like a really rare camera. Like, take a screenshot of that because that is not something you see in this game very often. Let's see, wait, if I go back, does it does it do it again? No, it doesn't. That's really strange. Can I go back if I wanted to? You could, huh? Oh, it looks like a face. It looks like a face. He's like a little bug or something. But, uh, no, that game, it does so much right with, like, the linearity and puzzles, right? Final Fantasy games like, well, these Final Fantasy games, uh, where there's, like, this present story that doesn't let up, you can't have like open-ended, you know, let's wander a big giant world like Final Fantasy XV where you're like trying to save, you know, Noctis' bride and you're like, oh, we'll just take a ride and do a bunch of side quests. No, you have to have some focus and Final Fantasy VII has a lot of focus. Um, pun intended, I guess. Uh, all right, let's see. If I go that way, I would have come around here. I guess you have to jump down anyway. Yeah, you have to jump down anyway. So let me, uh, let me just run around see what happens here. Um, but somewhere like the train graveyard, right? If you okay, you can't go that way, huh? Um. All right. Well, I will uh, run back and fight those guys and talk about Final Fantasy 15 or seven. You know, the train graveyard, for example. It's like I barely even remember that section from the original game because I thought it was just like it wasn't necessarily puzzle heavy. You just kind of go through, fight some bosses, has some eerie music. This time, you know, there's a whole story to it because you have, you know, like the ghost of Marlene who's still alive as far as I know. Um, ghost of Marlene, you have like this other little boy and like the ghosts are sh like of children who got swept away. It's like a whole thing. And I love the fact that they put just a little bit more detail in it to really give that, you know, area some character. And, you know, that's the problem with Final Fantasy XII or, I'm sorry, Final Fantasy 15. I, none of the areas have any character. They're just like your big, you know, uh, areas that you're supposed to, you're supposed to enjoy. You're supposed to run through and, you know, find yourself feeling like you're attached to them or something. And, and I just don't. And it's unfortunate because uh, it, it was, I think it was a missed opportunity game-wise. Um, but now, on another note, I'm incredibly pissed that I did not beat Sid Rain's first try. Like, I tell you, if you just go Sentinel, you can beat this game, no problem. Like, it's this game is easy mode with a, with a Sentinel. But if you want to be cool, maybe you try it without it. I tried to be cool, it didn't work, all right? That's how it goes. I only did this battle because I wanted to see if there was an item somewhere. Um, oh, you can jump down there. All right, so I can jump down here. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Oh, it's the same thing, I think. I think it's the same. It's the same thing. Uh, let's see. I'm just curious, because I'm so confused. Oh, yeah, it's the same. It's the same area. All right, that's fine. Can you go backwards? No, you can't go backwards. Um, that's the one thing, though. Final Fantasy VII, so I find myself... You're supposed to use, like, special attacks and everything, and I do. But I find myself not paying nearly as much attention to uh to like using a lot of the com not necessarily the combo system but just not trying my hardest when it comes to uh 
Alright, just take these out, please. When it comes to trying like, to really synchronize my attacks and use Surma's here, like, I just want to kill the enemies. And in that regard, it works as a, being a really good um, JRPG. Or action RPG, rather, because I can just kind of run in and do whatever I want. Alright. Heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. You gotta heal. You gotta heal. Nope. Get combat clinic. Thank you. All right, go back. Uh, but one of the things I do find somewhat vexing about the game, so you have these, uh, you have materials. I'm, you know, well aware. Of. And so, when you have certain items, you can, or a certain uh, material, certain equipment. Okay, that was, that was the actual slowdown. That's crazy. Certain equipment you can only equip certain amounts of material, right? Which means not all of your characters would be able to have, say, every single... Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Alright, cool. Not all your characters would be able to have, say, all the types of elemental magic, right? It's like you would have... Maybe you have uh, fire and lightning, but you don't have enough slots to have ice and wind. And coming from playing this game, I find that really, really almost difficult to deal with because you're like, alright, on the one hand... Uh, alright, can we just, can we get, can we stagger this dude? On the one hand, like, you don't necessarily need every type of elemental magic, but on the other hand, it's nice to have, and nice to not switch, uh, switch things around. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm so dead. No, I'm not. Alright, cool, we're good. How about you stagger that fool? How about you stagger that fool? I should not have used potion on these regular battles, I really shouldn't. Alright, slow him down. I wonder if I'll five star this jump. Am I dead? How about you just heal? How about you just heal? Alright, we're good. Just just heal my leader. Another thing that's great about this game or that game is you don't die if your leader uh, falters. Um, but yeah, no, not having access to every type of magic on every character you level up is a little bit weird, because I'm still used to this game where more or less everyone has some type of elemental strike, or at least multiple types of elemental Yeah, I screwed that so hard. That's crazy. Was I supposed to take out the other dude? I don't know. Um, let's see. Is this the way we go? Yeah, that's the way we go. Oh god, seven minutes, eight minutes already? Alright, we're gonna skip through this, and all oh, this area... I think some dudes pop out, it's a, it's a, yeah. I do like that they have like the sirens and everything, because they're really playing up the whole, look, it's a, uh, a, a trial ground for, I guess they don't train Lassie to make peace. uh, let's see. Alright, let's see what happens here. Are these three on three, or is it, is it six? Alright, I was gonna say, there's no way it's... All right, let's just keep it going. Challenge, same challenge. I don't know why I'm showing all these battles off. I think because I've cut out so many recently, it's just like, eh, I'll just run through, see what happens. I don't think I should die from this. Oh, wait, what are we fighting? Oh, I was about to say, am I gonna die from here? Wait, the enemy, he disappeared. He was invisible. Well, I'm kind of glad I showed that off. I don't know what's happening here. Oh, it might have a problem with uh So I had like three game cases on my, on top of the fans of my Xbox One. So that thing was overheating like crazy. Which, why do you put the fans right on top of the thing? That doesn't make any sense. Seems like a waste. Seems like a, kind of a dumb opportunity, but, or dumb, design choice, but you know, to each their own. Alright, let's try this. Alright, hopefully somebody... Nope. Let's 
Let's see, can I get some assassination off? Alright, heal her, heal her, heal her. Follow my lead. Yeah, I really don't know what you're supposed to do here. I might have the wrong party set up. Maybe you want some buffs on your guys. Maybe you want some something, something else that's good. I don't know. Alright, if you wanna... I'm like, I don't really wanna heal, but I also just wanna get this over with and What's-Her-Face won't stagger him yet. Can you stagger him? Alright, thank you. Is that the head spin? That's not the head spin, right? Let's go. Thank you. Just heal me. Is that a head spin? Oh, that's not a head spin. All right, we're good. All right, maybe we will just assassinate this fool, debuff to crazy amounts, and call it a day. I don't know why I like doing that. It's just so cool seeing all the icons show up and seeing how fast his health dwindles. Like, it's just kind of dope. And I five star. See, I don't, I don't get the, uh, I don't get the criteria here. It's just, you know, you, you think you're doing one thing. All right, I came from that way. I'm going this way. You know, this is just like the sewers in Final Fantasy uh, VII. Like they have the little circular areas. Um, all right, who's next? Uh, all right, we're just gonna cut all these out from this point on because. I don't really have a reason to show them. Is anybody over here? Nobody's over here. Yeah, I really don't understand the criteria here. I five star that, and I thought I, I'd use combat clinic, and I was moving slowly and all that good stuff. Is that something? Oh no, it's not anybody. I wonder, are those electric or are they just uh, like kind of glowy, like that bioluminescent stuff? Anything down that way? Nope. Um, but yeah, the one thing that gets me about Final Fantasy VII. Uh, Ooh, the Fae Mark, that is for Snow, if I can get to him. Uh, Fae Mark does what? Prototype Mana Drive, Enhanced Magical Power. So if you need him to be a magic user, um, but it does reduce his physical abilities, you know, that's your, that's your weapon. Um, you know what, let me see something. I ah, know, it's okay, it's okay. We're almost at the point where uh, Vanille could get attack, I believe, so that could be kind of cool. Oh, yay, and more. Who is this? Uh, oh, those little guys. All right, we'll try. Oh, it was a stick with Sentinel. Sentinel through and through. All right, anything I can climb up? No, if I can climb up, uh, maybe over there. Uh, no, not over there. All right, whatever. Yeah, we are going to fight Vanille. How, uh, how smart of you. As I was fighting that battle, I was thinking, I wonder if the developers intended for you to like max out your Crystarium here. I mean, as far as your characters can go, because you know it's a it's a training facility. So I would kind of understand. Um, wait, where does this go? That goes behind the dude. All right, so if you want to skip them, you go that way. Uh, we're just gonna actually let's just hop down and see where it goes. Uh, but I wonder, like, I mean, you could conceivably hang around here long enough that you just, you know, get, like, max out Crystarium, max out job classes, that would be kind of cool. Maybe I should do that, and just, uh, see what happens. I mean, that'd be kind of, game would be mad easy then. I really don't know what staggering that guy looks like, because you, uh, when you stagger him, I mean, he has 500% stagger, and I don't know how you would stagger him in any feasible length of time, because by the time you get to, like, 300, he's dead. Seems kind of pointless. Uh, oh no, just these guys? Well, that's easy. Uh, oh, we're already ready for that. One of the things that's interesting is that those guys, uh, well, one, when they self-destruct, they don't kill themselves all together, like, entirely. Oh, we're getting farther. The thing is changing. Uh, I don't know how to read that. That does say something. I don't know what it says, but, I mean, if you know, good on you. Oh, God. Uh, but it's kind of interesting, I was going to say, you know, enemies that are of one type, like those electric guys back there, you know, they're not weak to wind, they're weak to blizzard, which is kind of cool, because this game seems to have broken that path of, you know, just having four opposing, 
uh, elements. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, <laughs> me putting the, whatchamacallit, the game cases on top of the 360, or the Xbox One fans, definitely was why that enemy was invisible. Oh crap, all right, I'm gonna show this off. If I get it, I get it, if I don't, I don't. I think this is one of those, um, like, uh, what are they called, not behemoths, like those mix, oh no, it's this guy, oh, it's, is it two of them? Don't tell me it's two of them. Oh no, it's just one, that's interesting. All right, well, we will take out the bra blade like we did before, and I'm just gonna wait for him to take out, to, to forge a blade, I don't even care. Actually, just stop, just stop, just stop, just wait, um, just, just wait, what's the point? Alright, let's go, Centurion Blade, take him out, because he has like no health, so it works. I wonder if you have to provoke the Centurion Blade separately, because he doesn't, he, like, he's part of this dude. He's clearly patterned uh, somewhat similarly. So I'm wondering, like, do you have to provoke him, or does he just, like, automatically attack whoever Big Deuce is attacking? Alright, that's fine. And now let's heal. Heal. Yeah, I'm playing so lame. I, I just, like, I don't know. I'm not, I guess maybe, in a way, I'm not in a turn-based mode because I've been playing so much Final Fantasy VII. I keep using that as an excuse, but, you know. Alright, that's fine. And let's debuff this fool. And stagger him and go. Oh, you're dead. You're, you're so far dead. You're so far dead. I get all those debuffs. One more round. One more round. Uh, you can try me. You can try me, but aggression will kill you. I'm surprised this is the only dude who's hiding or who's, who's guarding this treasure. You would think they'd put like him and maybe like some of the circuitrons or somebody that would add to the difficulty, but... Alright, hopefully I can get this guy. Hopefully I can get this guy. Alright, we're good. Three star? Five star? See, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna just keep trying. See what... Oh no, it's, it's a... Oh wait, okay. I thought it was like multiples. That'd be crazy. This is definitely somebody's weapon, let's see. Oh, three electros. That's it? Really? That's... Eh. I will say Final Fantasy VII, uh, and I guess Final Fantasy games in general. So this game, treasure feels really un inconsequential because the characters don't... Uh, oh my god, could you imagine going through this area without a map? I mean, I guess there's only so many ways you can try, but it'd be kind of confusing. But treasure feels so inconsequential because, you know, nothing in, in this game really matters. Um, it's all components, which you can kind of overlook. I mean, they could I mean, they give you those after battles. But at least in the old games, you get like potions and stuff. But uh, I'm going to awkwardly end the video here because I don't feel like going up another elevator. And uh, I will see you in part 45 where we hopefully finish off the fifth arc. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.